This is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we just got to show how to add audio files into your WordPress site. And if they're too large, go ahead and upload them into um, WordPress through FTP or through your web host itself. And I suggested that when you do these things, that you make folders to put them in so they don't get lost among everything else. You may have a folder that may be called MP3 or audio, music, um, podcast, whatever you want to label it. And you can have a, or a folder called something like PDF if you're uploading PDF files. And so that's fine and good. Now, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when you make such a uh, folder. What it will look like if someone was to go to that address. Now, I only put one sample um, MP3, a little short one here. This is sample in there. But when someone goes right directly to like boomerempowerment.com slash mp3, that's my directory here, then what they're going to see is um, all the different ones. If I had 10, 15, 20 different things here, then they could go down there and download any of those mp3s they wanted to listen to them. Now, if you want them to be able to do that, that's fine. But if you want them to only find them through your blog itself, then you need to change something so this is not quite so public. See, they can get a better look of it. See, there's the address, and that's how it comes. So keep in mind, if someone wants to click and go to this one, then they have the noisy audio. But at the same time, that's the address of it there. But if they go there, they go, hmm, I wonder what other MP3s they have there. And they can just simply knock off that in, go there, and see what else is there. So if you want to have it not quite so public, here's a little trick that you can do. You can pull up even notebook pad if you want. I use another thing called uh, Skype. You might not have that. So we're going to go ahead and go with notepad. And you're just going to have a blank file here. And you're going to save it. And you're going to save it as not text there. You're going to save it as index. See, I'm saving it as index.html. And then I'm going to make sure you know where it's at so you can find it again. And then you can see the file here, index.html. And I'm going to put it right in the MP3 folder. Okay. And we can check and make sure it's in there. Let me refresh it. Okay, it's in there. Okay, and this is what the page looked like when people went there. Now let me go ahead and refresh that page. And now they get a blank page. The index and things aren't showing up because we put a blank index page. Very simple, very easy. Just put a blank a page there and call it, save it as index.html. Upload it to the folder, though you don't want that index public. And it'll be there. It, it, it hides it, not quite so public. Anyway, have fun and enjoy this. And, um, Keep on learning. WordPress 101 for Boomers, Heidi Caswell.